it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. It is Friday, that means it's another Coaster Friday. Today is the day that I'm going to do the pie coaster that I have been promising you guys for a while. I'm going to be really honest with you, things didn't go very smoothly at all. Um, I lost the blueberry pie, I was going to do a cherry and a blueberry, and um, the cherry didn't turn out quite as well as I'd hoped. So watch it, let me know what you think, um, I guess you can't win them all, and, and let me know if you want me to give it another try. Be sure to stick around to the end so you see what I pick out of the fishbowl for next week. Okay, we're starting our pie coasters and I have two little pie plates that I'm going to use. They're, me they're metal. I didn't find any silicone ones and I didn't see any of the disposable ones so this is what I'm using. And I have a tan polymer clay. Now this doesn't really look quite like a pie crust color but you know what? It's close enough. Alright, I ran it through the pasta machine that's about as wide as I'm going to get it. So we're going to work with what we have. I'm going to press it in. I'll cut off the excess with my blade. And with the excess, I'm just going to fill it in around where I needed it. So just smooth it. Keep smoothing it until it looks like pie crust. And then we can work on fluting the edge as you would a real pie crust. And then just pinch between your fingers to make the pie crust. Okay, into the oven they go. Since I'm making a blueberry and a cherry pie, I have a blue clay and a red clay. I'm going to create little berries with it. I want them to be pretty small and then I'm just going to bake them right in the oven. We're going to do our first layer in our pie molds and this is what happened. I got a bubble on both of them. They stand flat, but this is supposed to be the first layer of the actual coaster, so it's supposed to act as a coaster. So I'm going to actually put one layer of resin into each of these and I mix my easy cast. I have two ounces and that should be able to cover that lump. I'm going to use a little bit of Resin Obsessions transparent dyes for the resin and I'm going to use a little bit of blue for the blueberries because I want it to look syrupy and I'm going to put the transparent red in the cherry pie one. Alright, we're going to start with the blueberry. I'm going to take a couple of small berries in there. I want, oopsie daisy, toss them in because I'm going to want that bottom one to look like it at least has a couple berries in there when the other coasters are out. And pour it in. I'm going to do the same with the red. Now I'm going to take the lighter, pop the bubbles, and then I'm going to let it just sit there and cure. So what I have going on here is I need to put the next layer on. And I have the cling wrap, just regular cling wrap and I'm putting it down because resin will not stick to cling wrap. And I won't get the cling wrap perfectly smooth because that's impossible. I have more resin mixed and I'm going to add a little bit of the blue again and a little bit of the red. And I did one ounce each. Mix the color in. Then I have to add the berries. I don't really know how many to add, so we'll just kind of wing it. And I can always add more when it's in the mold. I'm thinking an ounce and a half would have been better, so I can always mix another half an ounce for each of these. Don't forget to hit them with your lighter. Don't melt the saran wrap, but get the bubbles. So be quick about it. And then let it cure. Okay, I was pretty devastated. I was trying to pull this out and I couldn't do it and I broke the pie. So then I kind of just gave up. I didn't even try the red pie. And that was like a couple days ago. I was pretty, pretty depressed. And today I threw the pie into the freezer for a while. Um, pulled it out. I didn't even try to pull it out beforehand um, and it came out fine. I pulled off the plastic wrap and it works great. It goes back in, comes out. The only thing I do need to do is clean up these edges and I'm going to use my Dremel tool to do that and then I could pour another layer. So now for the next step I need to put another layer which is going to involve some more plastic wrap. I'm going to do the same thing. 
lay it down, straighten it as best I can. I'm not going to get it perfectly straight. And I'm going to mix an ounce and a half of resin. I might only need an ounce. So I've got the plastic wrap over it. I have mixed my resin. All right, I put the berries in there. And I'm going to pour it in here, dropping the berries. Okay, hit it with the lighter. And then just let it set. So here it is, and this lifted out perfectly without any problems whatsoever. I'm going to clean up these edges, and then we have to do the pie top. So what I have left is just the top um, like lattice work that I would like to do on here. For that, I'm going to take some more polymer clay, same color as the other crust. And I'm just going to cut some strips. Um, I did cut a piece out that fits pretty well into the size here, um, and that's kind of me, going to give me a guide. So you want to try to get somewhat even. I'm going to cut it this way. So I'm going to peel apart where I cut. So I'm going to take every other one. You fancy pie makers out there, you tell me what I'm doing wrong. Now I'm going to weave it. Try to keep within the size. So there's our pie, and now I'm going to take some more of this and kind of turn it into a snake. And I want to go around the whole thing. Okay, so I have it this far and now I'm just going to have to play with it a little bit. Press it down. Smooth it together some. It's going to be like a little kid baked a pie. So I'm going to bake this. So here's my pie crust after I baked it. It doesn't fit perfectly We'll get the general idea, right? Hopefully. Now what I need to do is finish it off. And I'm going to be working on the bottom here and take some packing tape. I really want to make sure I get this all sealed off pretty well. Okay, so I'm going to rub it. I'm going to take some of the clay that has not hardened and press it around the outside. And this is just going to create a dam because this is not going to harden anymore. And I'll be able to peel it off of the actual pie crust that I made. <clears throat> but hopefully it will prevent any additional resin from leaking out should that be an issue. Okay, now I have some more resin and I put the red coloring in there, the Resin Obsession red color. And all I'm going to do is try to carefully drip it in between so it looks like, like the cherry sauce is coming through. All right, let's see how this went. I'm gonna peel this off. And this is what I thought could originally be a coaster too. And actually, it seems like the glass is perfectly stable on there. So I guess it could be. Now this didn't go perfectly smoothly and I'm not 100% sold on my top, but it does work out to be four coasters so you have a set. So the concept is good, I just don't think I executed it quite as well as maybe I could have. You know, we just did a little experiment. But that's the fun of crafting, you experiment with stuff and come up with different things. So I'm going to tell you what I think it would have done differently. I think it would have done the, here let's see if I can't show you. I would have done the base, but I would have cut it off. So there was no crust here. It would have just been the inside layer. Maybe I would have put some um, glass beads or something in here to um, keep it flat so we didn't get a lump. And then built up my insides. The insides I'm okay with. As for the top, I think what I would have done then is spread it all the way over and then crimped it. But then when you closed it, it was actually like a lid on top of it. I think there are a lot of good things here, but I don't think it quite came together as well as it could have. So here's my pie. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And let me know what you might have done a little bit differently. And tell me if you like the concept of it. So it's fishbowl time, and I'm going to actually pick two this time. First one is going to be potato chip present coaster. And the second one is... Rachel Morse, Snowman in the Snow. So I'm going to try to do both of those for next week. So the next two weeks are still holiday coasters. So I would love for you to add holiday coasters. Those are my last two chances. And we will see you next time. Thanks, guys. Happy crafting and stay safe.